guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a kind of fun video. This is a little bit of a sassy video. I like to think that it was, it's a little bit of a sassy video, but I'm sure you can guess from the title. Of course, we're gonna talk about products that everyone loves that I hate, because I'm a little bit of a hater like that. So I have a few random videos like this, and I believe I have a playlist called Random. So if you wanna check out some of my random videos, I have one on brands I'm breaking up with, I have a video about brands you should try out in 2018. So a lot of like a little bit different, not really reviews, not really anything directly showing you a product. But I thought you guys might enjoy this. So I have a long list. I'm going to do like 10 of them. And then I will, you know, continue to do this as like a series on my channel because what's more fun than starting a new series on a channel? So before I get into the video, I just want to mention my name is Karen Harris. Welcome if you are new. I do upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me. And I do hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. My goal for the year 2018 is to double my subscribers so I want to hit 2,000 subscribers. So please join the family and subscribe so you can keep up with my future uploads. So first product that everyone loves that I hate are the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. Oh my gosh, I remember when the ABH liquid lipsticks came out and all these bigger YouTubers were like all over it. I, in particular, I think I feel like I still, rem I don't watch Amanda Ensing anymore, but when I used to, I just remember her talking about like sepia, and isn't there a shade called like So Hollywood or True Ho Some I don't know. There's so many ABH liquid lipsticks. And she has some amazingly gorgeous shades. But the formula is so, so drying on my lips. I cannot handle it. One time I bought one shade on sale when it was on sale on Macy's.com. And I'm so excited to try it because I couldn't bring myself to purchase a ABH liquid lipstick. And I tried it one time and I was done. I was never going to buy another ABH liquid lipstick again. Such a disappointment for me because I do like the brand. Typically, a lot of their stuff works out for me. Oof, but the liquid lipsticks were bad. So I really like Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, Colored Rain, Wet n Wild. Like I have a lot of liquid lipstick formulas that I really appreciate. But the ABH liquid lipstick formula was a no bueno for me. So... Dislike, dislike, dislike. The second product everyone loves that I hate is the Kat Von D Trooper Liquid Freaking Liner. Everyone and their mom talks about how great of a liquid liner this thing is, and I've tried it multiple times. I've gotten sample sizes, I've gotten full sizes, I've bought them myself, obviously, and I cannot get it to work. I just don't understand the hype. I feel like there are so much better liquid like felt tip liners or brush tip liners in the world. One that comes to mind right off the bat is the Lottie London pen liner. I love that guy and it's only about six bucks. I also really like this one I have by Makeup Forever that has a brush tip applicator. I really don't get the hype with Avon D Trooper liner. Just boggles my mind. The next item that everyone loves that I hate are the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation and concealer. Oh my gosh, this foundation is so bad. It is so streaky. Well, first of all, I can never really get the right shade for my skin tone with Tarte, which now that the whole Tarte shape tape gate happened, um, it like really seems to be on like everyone's shit list, but I really not like Tarte's complexion products for a really, really long time, so it's kind of irritating as a woman of color that now all of a sudden all these Caucasian beauty gurus that supported Tarte, they're all like, oh, I'm going to like boycott Tarte and I'm never buying Tarte again. It's like you can go back to all of their videos, even this year, and they're supporting Tarte. So I don't know why all of a sudden they decided to get on the bandwagon and hound Tarte. I've had, I've lost Tarte respect for Tarte a long time ago. Every once in a while I'll buy one of their eyeshadow palettes and like, they're just not a tan girl friendly brand, so I stay kind of far away from them, and especially their complexion products. So those like Rainforest of the Sea products are just so streaky, yucky, yucky products. I don't know why the concealer does not conceal shit on my face. So yeah, I'll be selling those on Poshmark. I've maybe used it once or twice, and I need to put that on my Poshmark. So if you guys are interested in shopping my Poshmark, 
The link is going to be in the description box. You see what I did there? I tied it all in. I told you how much I hate the product, and now I want you to buy it because it might work for you, but I personally was not a fan of <laughs> the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation or concealer. Okay, the next product that everybody loves that I really hate is the Lancome Juicy Freaking Shakers. I don't get it. I don't know why people like this product. First of all, it's freaking expensive. Second of all, it's barely pigmented. And then they came out with like the matte shakers and people really seem to like those as well. I did like a lip oils video where I compared the Lancome Juicy Shaker with the YSL Tint Idole and then the Milani lip oils. And I think I said I didn't like the Juicy Shaker because it was not moisturizing at all on my lips. I really, really freaking hated that product. I don't like it and I don't know why people like rave about it because it honestly left my lips feeling even more dry than before I put it on. The next thing I hate that everyone seems to love are the Dose of Colors eyeshadows. Now this includes like those Marvelous Mauves, the Something Browns, the Desi and Katie palette. I tried all of those products. I'm actually going to put a video link somewhere, either up or down, where I tested out Dose of Colors. And I like their liquid lipsticks, but their eyeshadows are not good. I don't like that formula. It's very freaking powdery and dusty and messy. So if you like Lorac eyeshadows, you'll probably like the Dose eyeshadow formula, but I do not like Lorac eyeshadows. And I do not like the Dose of Colors formula either. It is very, very dusty. I don't know. A lot of beauty gurus really, really, really seem to like their eyeshadows. The Desi and Katie ones were all shimmer and you had to use your finger to apply them. They were a hot mess. Hot mess. Hot mess. Hot mess. Like, oh god, I will never buy Dose of Colors eyeshadows. And the new ones are so tempting. Like the Sassy Siren something berries. I don't know what they're called, but they came out with two new ones, and I've got an Ulta coupon. I could get them for 20% off, but no, nay, no, <laughs> I'm not buying things I don't want this year. That is also one of my resolutions for 2018. Okay, the next thing I put on my list is Natasha freaking Denona palettes. Now, I am partially to blame for the Natasha Denona situation because I haven't really tried her full product line. I've tried her eyeshadow palettes. I really freaking don't like them. But then I keep buying them because I'm like, ooh, maybe this one will be better. Maybe this one will be better. And then she came out very recently with these diamond and blush palettes. So I picked up both of them. And so far, I don't really see the hype. Now, I need to work on a review of those palettes, but I swatched them, I've worn them on my face, and $89? Like, question mark? Like, what? I would not recommend buying those palettes, guys. I mean, that's not my full review, but just from what I played with it. So I got off on a tangent there, but what I meant to talk about was the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. So now I've tried the Sunset palette, I've tried the Lila palette, I bought one of her five pan palettes. I'll try and link reviews for you guys so you can check them out. I recently sold the 5 Pan palette on my Poshmark. I was lucky enough I was able to return the Sunset and return the Lila palette. And uh, no, I mean, they're just not worth the price. I buy expensive eyeshadows. I have all the Pat McGrath Lab palettes. And I can justify those eyeshadow palettes because they're amazing. But the freaking Natasha Denona palettes, like, there's so much fallout. The metallic shades are such a mess. Ugh, I just don't like them. So, that, there's my spiel on that. Don't waste your money. That's all I have to say. Number seven of products that everyone loves that I hate is the Laneige Nighttime Lip Mask. Now, everyone and their mama started talking about this lip mask because Kathleen Lights mentioned it in one of our favorites videos, and she talked about how great it is and how affordable it is and how she can't sleep without it. And so during the VIB sale, there was a little set. They came out with a little set where you could try out the lip mask and like some other product. And I tried it out a few times and I was not impressed. That thing, again, made my lips drier than when they first started. And I was like, no, thank you. Keep your lip mask. I have the Bite Beauty Agave mask. I have the Christian Dior Rose lip balm. Like I'm good. I don't need any more lip balms. So I don't know. I don't know why people really like it. I don't know if we have turned into that generation where if like a really big beauty guru says I like it, we're gonna like condition ourselves to be like, oh, I like it too. Kathleen likes it. Of course I like it. 
And I feel like that's where we're going. I feel like we're all turning into drones. We don't, like a lot of people don't seem to have their own opinion on makeup. And it's like, did you really think that that was hydrating for your lips? Like, because it was not doing anything for me, girlfriend. So, nope, I'm done. Okay, number eight are the Milk Makeup Sticks. Now, I bought a little set of these during the VIB sale. I was really excited. And no, like the hydration stick was a joke. Um, I didn't even try all of them out because it was so stupid. I was like, there is no freaking hydration in this. And I get the concept of milk makeup is supposed to be like on the go. So that's why everything is like a stick formula. Cause you can like, you know, do your makeup while you're in like a cab or while you're driving, which I don't advise you do, but it's kind of for on the go. So you can like apply it with your fingers and things like that. But no, oh god, no, it was so bad. I just did not like it. It was 35 bucks, I think, for this little set, and I was just like, this is freaking stupid. So I took it back, and I will not purchase from Milk Makeup ever again. Number nine, the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Now, you guys all know probably like the whole It Cosmetics drama about how they don't cater for women of color. It's like another whole like spiel. Like, this is not new, people. There are brands that don't make shades for different skin tones. Like, what are we going to do about it? You know, it's like the women of color will just buy from brands that make shades for their skin tone. Like, honestly, like, wh what what are we going to do? Anyway, so It Cosmetics, their CC cream, everyone and their mom were like, oh my god, it's so good, it's so good, it's so good. So, of course, I, like, fell for the hype and they were having a sale. So I bought it on sale. I think I bought the color tan. And I know it's like one of those like no makeup makeup products, but like why did I buy it? I don't even like no makeup makeup looks. Like I like full coverage foundation and it's just not good. And I just, I just didn't like it. And so I'm definitely, I need to declutter that out of my collection. I know it's in here somewhere in the craziness that is my beauty room, but that product is, I just didn't like it. I didn't like the formula. I didn't like the coverage. I know it's not full coverage, but still, it wasn't good. And it didn't make me feel glowy. And the shade wasn't exactly the right color for me. So I just never use it. And yeah, I just don't like it. You guys know it's like so, so hyped on the internet, but it's not that good. Like, I, I don't feel like it's something you need to like stop this video and go and get, you know what I mean? And the last product I'm going to talk about in this video of products I hate that everyone else loves is the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. Now, I picked up a set of these during the Sephora VIB sale as well in November. And I was really, really excited because they always come out with like a holiday set featuring four little shadow sticks. And I was like, cool, you know, there's a lot of YouTubers that really love it. Like Ashani from Total Makeup Junkie 101. I love her channel. She talks about them all the time. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. Ashani likes them, so I will too. And I just didn't like it. I don't like cream eyeshadows. So it's not her fault. It's just me. It's just me. Like, I use a cream base. I use MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. But I feel like these caviar sticks, you can't really use, like, a powder. I don't know. Like, you can't use them on top of a powder. So you'd have to use them as a base. And then you'd have to put something else on top of it if you were going to put, like, a smoky shadow on the end or something. So... Really, what is the purpose? Except I can see it if you use it as like an all over lid color and then you're done with your eye makeup. But I'm not one of those people. Like when I do my eye makeup, I go in. Like I got to do the crease. I got to do the brow. I got to do the, the outer corner. I got to do a lid shade. Like I can't just do like, let me just dab like one color all over my lid. Those are not my makeup webs. So it just doesn't work with me. I can see if you're like a busy it girl and all you do is swipe some on. And get on with your day I can see them working but for my makeup wipes it just doesn't work so I just wanted to tell you guys about it okay guys so hopefully you enjoyed that video I'm sorry if I offended anyone these are just products that I tried that did not work out for me and products I just have heard so many people mention over the years of watching YouTube that they love and it's their holy grail and just did not work out for me so let me know if you hate any of these products or if you love any of these products and have any helpful suggestions on how I can make them work. I would sure love to hear from you. I hope you have a great rest of your day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.